What's up? What's up? What's good with you? I'm good. I'm great. I'm fabulous. Plus and highly flavored. How you doing? Okay. Hello everyone. It's Kendall here. If you're new around here, welcome. If you're not new around here, what is up? Home skillet biscuit. No nails today. All natural. No makeup either. My eyebrows grew back. Lessons. One of many today because today we're going to be talking about Glossier skincare. Me and Glossier have a history. I've made some of my favorite videos reviewing Glossier. Either products that I really, really like or ones that are innovative, but just what am I supposed, what do I do with this? But every video has been fun. So I figured, why don't we start talking about this skincare situation that they have? I've heard mixed reviews about Glossier skincare products in the past, and I just really wanted to, you know, try it out, see what works for me and what doesn't. Sarah did dip it, dip it, dip it, it's this Lee. Led me to get in contact with Glossier. Shout out to Glossier. Hello, representative that's gonna be watching this video. How are you? She's a sweet lady. This video is kind of surreally uh, sponsored by Glossier. Um, it's gonna be fun because we're featuring a product that just came out. I keep getting uh, advertisements for it all over my YouTube channel now, which is fun. Cause I'm like, yeah, I got that. I'm gonna talk about that. This stuff is dope. This is the Glossier Bubble Wrap Eye and Lip Cream. So we're gonna be featuring this product. And I figured, well, since we're already trying out a product, let's try it everything. Or not everything, but a lot of things. I only have one face, so. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. Featuring Bubble Wrap, really talking about what I really like about it because I, spoiler alert, it's my new favorite eye cream. There you go. That's all you wanted to know. You can click out the video. Please don't. I have more information, but um, but also reviewing quite a few other Glossier products. When I was doing the math, it was somewhere around like two hundred ish dollars worth of Glossier skincare products. So I figured let's talk about the good, the bad, the ugly, and the indifferent. Um, and it's gonna be fun. I feel like Glossier as a brand just makes some really innovative stuff. And sometimes when you do innovative stuff, sometimes it's just not it, sis. I really didn't like those play pencils when I was talking about the. Um, Glossier Playline, but those little jelly thingies, oh, they're so good. For those of you that are new, I ramble, which might not be cute to y'all, but for those that are have stuck around long enough, they find it charming, you know. <laughs> Speaking of the Glossier Playline, I had bought a product that was the wrong color, so I wanted to exchange it for the right color. Shout out to Glossier Customer Service is that they said, keep it, whatever color you have, just keep it. We'll send you the right color. And then I wanted to re return those little pencils. I don't like the pencils, they weren't good. Um, and they said, just keep it and we'll give you money back. And I was like, yes, customer service. We're customer service. And then it got me thinking, what do companies do with the products that you send back? I, <laughs> it makes me wonder, I'm like, what do you do? Like if you got the wrong color and you're like, hey, I want to exchange it for a new color. What do they do with it? What do they do with it? This is off topic. I say all this to say, <laughs> Glossier customer service, A1, I really like it. First off, we have the Milky Oil. This is the waterproof makeup remover. So basically I kind of shook it up before you saw it, my bad, but it's like a oil on top of a solution or vice versa, where you kind of mix it up and it's used to take off your makeup. <laughs> Comes in this kind of like baby bottle spout thing, which at first I was like, that's weird. I don't know. I think in the footage that you're gonna be looking at now, dripping it on my face, don't do that. Put it on a cotton pad. I don't know why that wasn't the obvious. Like this way of dispensing product makes sense when you put it on a cotton pad. Um, as far as the product itself, I did like it. Um, I found that it wasn't nearly as oily as other oil base makeup removers I've used. I do cleanse my face after I use makeup removers, so I don't know to what extent that is a big deal to me. It is referred to as a waterproof makeup remover. Generally speaking, I never found that I've been in a situation where I need my makeup to be waterproof. Even when it's like hot and humid, my, my makeup doesn't tend to smear in that way, even if I don't use waterproof makeup. So I can't really judges its efficacy for for super waterproof like mascaras or can i this one mascara iris told me about that is so hard to get off yep this is super super waterproof i've literally never worn this mascara before now i'm scared that's why i haven't worn it because iris said it's so hard to get off all right we'll let that dry fully and come back to that we'll see you know for science but like i said for other like basic water resistant not waterproof or claiming to be super waterproof mascaras this works 
fine. So after we take all the makeup off, it's time to cleanse and that's where we have the Milky Jelly Cleanser Conditioning Face Wash. Oh, is it gelé? Is it gelé? Gelé lactique. So this is definitely one of the more moisturizing cleansers that I've used. Gel-based cleansers or cream-based cleansers, what have you, are personally better for my skin type. For reference, by the way, I'm dry skin, normal dry skin, so I can't do the whole like hardcore, super intense cleansers that are like basically bar soap. This one certainly gives me more of like a very gentle cleanse. I think the jelly texture really helps to further facilitate, you know, getting makeup off your face. I like to use stuff like this with like a um, a facial sponge, like a cleansing sponge. I recently got one of those. Oh my god, it's it's life changing, but I don't feel like getting up to show it to you. So. But it's like a sponge that you use to like wipe off cleanser. I do appreciate that this comes in two sizes. This is the smaller size. This is a two ounce. So if you want to like travel with it, it's a cute little thing you can put in your bag. After I'm done with this video, I'm already planning like what I'm taking with me. So this little this little baby right here is coming with me to Korea. Korea is what I said. So the next is where we would talk about our little baby here, our new little new friend, our bubble wrap eye and lip cream. So. So this eye cream is really focused on hyper moisturizing those like thin parts of the face. So like under the eye and on the lip. And to really give it that like juicy plumped, I slept well, I drink a lot of water, dry crepey skin under the eyes, I don't know her type face. Shout out also because this is dope. I'm, I'm noticing, I see you brands that are coming out with eye creams with pumps. And just the tiniest amount comes out so you don't like waste it. The first few times I use it though, I was like, because I'm just so used to being just unnecessarily wasteful <laughs> with products. So I'm just like, tss, tss. you really don't need that. You take the little bit on a ring finger and you, hold on, let's get close. Let me be real aesthetic. Tap, 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 tap. The garbage man is ruining my aesthetic moment. <laughs> Now, when I apply it, I like to go on the under eye and this whole like cheek area because it just really plumps up that area in general. Yes, 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 uh, adequate sleep supply. Y'all don't need to know that I was up until 3 a.m. rereading a webtoon. <laughs> I think what's most appealing about this for me is that it's moisturizing, but it doesn't feel like there's anything here in the sense of like, it's not greasy, it's not oily. It soaks into the skin really well and it is super hydrating. I've talked about this before. Some eye creams just feel so much in like near the eye. It feels kind of goopy and feels like such like an alien object in this area. So also that's, that's another cool thing about um, using a pump is that you can get just a little bit out, not unnecessary amounts and also help conserve product because you don't want to like unnecessarily overuse it if you don't have to. Now they also say to use it on the lips and I do like it on the lips. I feel like it does give you a little bit of plump in that area. Also we love a multitasking queen. If you can consolidate your products down and use fewer of them and use them for several things, I highly recommend it. But I will say for me, I prefer it as an eye cream. I, I like a little bit of a thicker moisture on my mouth, but if you don't like that like goopy Vaseline-y feel with some lip balms, then you might really enjoy this on the mouth. But I much, prefer this in the eye area because I don't like that same like goopiness under the eye. Um, high key throwing my other eye creams away. <laughs> Sorry, because it's just so easy. You can pump it, you can put it on your eyes and then just ta -ta 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 -ta. you can carry it with you because it's in like a slim, like it's in a little, it's in a little slim thing. So I can just like poop, pop it into my, my skincare stuff and I don't have that little like jar that's kind of like stubby and hard to pack with other skincare stuff. Am I weird? <laughs> But I have little things that bother me, so that's one of the things, so. I did notice that they recommend to use this before any forms of moisturizing, which I find interesting. Which makes sense because it does have such a thin texture that you don't want to use it, say, on top of like a thicker cream because it'll be harder to penetrate. To this product. Uh, this wasn't my favorite product. <laughs> this is the Glossier Soothing Face Mist. This is the Rose Water Spray. This. I presume has more to do with a personal taste issue more so than like a, a, a problem with the product working. It works fine, it does its job. It is a facial spray, so it's meant to give you some quick moisturization, perform largely like a toner. And it was great. It did make my face very soft and supple and all that, but I don't 
love the scent of rose. And I've talked about this briefly before. It kind of just gives me this like walking into grandma's house or hospice, <laughs> sorry. Like there's some rose things that I don't mind as much because the rose scent isn't as strong, but this is straight up rose water. So it smells like rose water. It does have a really nice fine spray though. So if you put it over makeup, like say you're out and about and you already have makeup on and you just like, I need some spray cause I'm like dying. Then you can spray it on and it's not like gonna be big droplets of water on your face. The scent is something I, I just don't mess with. So that's not a product I personally would use. But if you like the scent of roses, and a lot of people do. Every time I say I hate the smell of roses, people are like, what? <laughs> but if you like the smell of roses, then you'll really enjoy that. Oh my God, I really messed up the order. Because <laughs> I have a mask in here I completely forgot to talk about. This is the Moisturizing Moon Mask. This one was really fun to use, which is silly because it's like, that's not what you get skincare for, but that's what, that's the impression it left on me, okay. It's kind of like weird, not weird about it, but unconventional, I suppose, or weird, it's up to you. Is that it's actually a cream and when you apply it, it still looks like a cream. You're supposed to apply a really thick layer, you wait, and you can actually see your skin absorbing the moisture. Like it'll be this white cream and then it'll just soak into your face. You do rinse it off by the way. So like any residuals that are left, you can just rinse off. But my face is super duper soft after that. Usually I would do this after, do this after cleansing. So I would cleanse my face one time and then go in with this so that it can go on a clean surface. I would imagine though, this would probably, I haven't tried it so don't quote me, but this might actually be halfway decent on trying to remove makeup as well. Like just put this on your face like a cleansing balm and then wash it off. Don't quote me, haven't tried it. Do it like once a week or something if you're feeling a little bit more dehydrated or you're getting oilier than usual so that you can kind of balance it out a bit. Oh, speak, speaking of removing your makeup, I think my eyelashes are feeling kind of crispy now. So let's go in and see how uh, how our milky milk stuff, as per usual, when I'm looking for my cotton pads don't know where they are. So we're gonna just use a Q-tip and hope for the best. But actually this might work a little more. Oh, I can put it in the top. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> I'm smart. Or maybe Glossier is smart. I don't know whose idea that was. <laughs> Let's see how easily this super hard to get off mascara is with this bad boy. I'm gonna sit it on there. Oh. Hey, look at the, the Q-tip getting dark. Oh, oh. Well, Iris, get this stuff, it gets it all. <laughs> it laughed at it. It laughed at it. <laughs> it was like, girl, you thought, okay. I've watched Iris try to get this mascara off. I've seen her scrub. <laughs> Yo, and we're not greasy and sticky. Yes. Uh, okay, oily milk. All right. Well, there you go. Next two products are moisturizers. I used both of them today, which is the first day that I've used both of them together. Um, and I really like it. I like, I like this face situation that we're at right now. Um, the first is the Glossier Priming Moisturizer. And then we have the, ooh, those, those are French words. <laughs> Priming Moisturizer Rich. So hence the name, both of them are moisturizers that are intended to be primers as well. If you've watched my channel for a while, you know that I'm kind of hit and miss with primers anyway. I barely use them. In fairness, if you want me to use a primer consistently, you, you do better putting them in a moisturizer <laughs> format. I just use products like this, like creams, and I feel like they're both very effective creams. The original Prime Moisturizer, it has the slightest bit of grip, but if, if you applied this on somebody and was like, hey, do you think this is a moisturizer or a primer? No one would say that's very primey. It doesn't have like a silicone feel. I wouldn't imagine this be particularly pore filling to be very honest with you. Um, I feel like it just makes the skin feel really smooth. Not in that kind of like silicone-y type of way. It just feels like your skin but plumper. It just, it doesn't feel like there's any like anything to fill, say if you had fine lines, wrinkles and stuff like that. Or if you had really deep pores, I don't think this would be the one to necessarily fill them. I feel like this would be really good for if you have dry skin. Like if you wanted a primer, but you but they feel kind of suffocating, they feel really oily or silicone-y or suffocating, this isn't that. I do feel like it's a little bit more blurring than just a plain moisturizer. And then you have the Rich, which is, the same thing, but just a more moisturizing formula. It's thicker, it's more heavy duty. This one has a smell. I forgot about that. This one has a little bit of a smell. The original one doesn't have the smell. The Rich has a smell. It has that kind of, oh, what is it? It kind of smells like Sika cream. I don't know if there's Sika in the 
in the ingredients. I don't mind the scent of that, so even more moisturizing than the original one. This one feels a little bit more like smoothing to me as well. I do find that they're very similar though. So it's just more so based off of your skin type. If you need more moisture, certainly go with this. I feel like this is a great way to do it. Or if you're gonna be wearing a significantly more mattifying foundation than you'd probably prefer, this would be probably a good balance so you don't get overly dry. Again, I love a good consolidating moment. So if I can figure out a way to wear a product, minimize the amount of products that I have to put on my face at a time, this is an option. This next product should not have me as, as geeked as it does because I feel kind of lame because it's a lip balm. <laughs> Glossy at bomb.com or balm.com, my bad. Yo, this is fire. Why does nobody talk about this? Skin salve as they call it, but it's a lip balm to me. This is one of the most effective lip balms I've ever used in my life. Have y'all ever put a lip balm on and it's like, oh, I feel good now. Okay, dot, 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 three seconds later. Wow, I'm dehydrated and my mouth still hurts. Love this. I want this in every scent. This one I got is the original, so I don't think it has, it doesn't have a scent. They have like different ones with different scents to them. I want all of them, all of them. You gotta have your lip balms in various places of your house. You need your bed stand lip balm. You need your purse lip balm. You need your book bag lip balm. You need your pocket lip balm. These are gonna be everywhere. So like I was saying before about bubble wrap on your lips, I feel like that one's a much thinner, um, it soaks in very quickly, but it has a much more like thin, um, you can't really feel it on the lips after it soaks in and everything. I don't mind the feeling of something kind of being a layer on my lips. I like to use this as well on top of that so it like kind of seals everything in. And oh my god, my lips be looking juicy for hours. Oh my god, I love it. I don't really know what else to say because it's a lip balm. It's not goopy. It doesn't give you that like petroleum jelly kind of and it's like it's just this thick layer. It's nothing like that. It's not just on the outside. It actually soaks in and it's just so, ugh. Yes, Emma. Yes. We do have two more products. I'm gonna do the one that I don't like first because I wanna end on a positive note. So Body Hero. Uh, where do I start? <laughs> of all the products in today, this is my least uh, I hate this. I was gonna say my least desirable one. I don't like this. It is cute, this day body lotion. You, you open it, it's a like a really thick, like cream. A little goes a long way type cream, that's good too. Um, you put it on your body and you're like, this is nice. This is what lotion's supposed to do or whatever. This is what I imagine Lindsay Lohan smelled like when they said she smelled like a baby prostitute. I don't know if it's rose, but there is that kind of like floral undertone. Floral's not my thing generally as far as scents go. But it also has this kind of like like grape pez. <laughs> that's not me, sis. That's that's not. And overall, I don't feel like it's like significantly more moisturizing than any other body lotion I use. So I wouldn't use this. I wouldn't like suffer through the scent to use this. Uh, especially, I don't tend to like scented lotions in general. If I can find it unscented, that's ideal. If I have the choice between scented or unscented lotion, I'm always gonna pick unscented. But then again, scent is very subjective. So if you live in an area where you can smell it in person, I highly recommend that because you might love it. And then last but not least, we have Invisible Shield. Again, shout out to products that have pumps. This is their sunscreen. It kind of has like a gel cream texture. And as you can see, it is very invisible. So yay, no purple. It applies very quickly. I don't find that it gives me this weird like filmy layer or anything on top of my skincare or anything. So I do really enjoy that. The only issue I have is that it's it's SPF 35. Generally speaking, I prefer my sunscreens to be at least 50. I mean, 35 is better than nothing. And I don't know if like getting a higher SPF really changes the overall texture of a product. I prefer my sunscreens to be a little bit higher SPF. But will I continue to use it? Yes. So let's round up with my top picks. If there's products that you were like, hey, if you could give me three products out of the entire bunch that you've tried today, which one would you choose? Not because we're featuring this, but it's actually that fire and it's going in my travel bag right after I'm done with this. <laughs> Bubble wrap is going in my travel bag. Why? Because if it isn't this, I'm not gonna use eye cream. <laughs> it's just so cumbersome. Like you gotta get the little jar or whatever and then you put it under the eye and then it kind of feels like, like, like a little, like a slug. It's just chilling under your eye. It's not, it's not attractive and it's not, it's not fulfilling me emotionally, physically, spiritually, what have you. And this comes with a pump and it soaks in really quickly. And again, I probably won't use eye cream if I don't use this. So 
in an effort to fight all the dehydration and premature wrinkles that could probably happen via dehydration. Stay moisturized, sis. The freaking lip balm. <laughs> Stupid. I don't know why I love this so much, but I do. See, I've been sitting here talking for hot ass 45 minutes. If I was wearing any other lip balm, my lips would have been so dry by now. It's gone. They would have ran away. This is fire. <laughs> Highly recommend this. This is dope. And then this makeup remover. I'm telling you, I've watched firsthand. My best friend tried to take that mascara off and I just see her struggling. <laughs> this bad boy got that off with the quickness. But I only, said, I only said three things. Honorary mention is the primers, whichever ones that you prefer as far as like richness or like light priming, it's up to you. Um, they're both good. But I also like the mask. Okay, wait. The mask too. Basically I liked everything except the rose water and the body lotion. So yeah. <laughs> That's my video. So big thanks again for Glossier for sponsoring this mess. <laughs> if you wanna check out any of the products that I mentioned today, feel free to check them out down in the description box. I'll have them all linked. If you like this video, found it informative, be sure to like this video to show that you liked the video. Follow me on social media, Instagram and Twitter, both of which are Kenny JD, and I will see you guys next time.